Hello and welcome to the Felcraft Beginner's Guide to League of Legends. I'm Hammy and today we're going to be covering Caitlyn, the Sheriff of Pitlover. As part of our beginner friendly video series, we're assuming that you know absolutely nothing about the champion and a little bit about playing League of Legends. However, we'll walk you through all champions and their abilities as we go. Caitlyn's generally played as an attack damage or AD carry champion. As an AD carry champion, Caitlyn's role is to stay safe and farm early game, picking up early kills where possible. In the mid game, Caitlyn will move into team fights, staying safe and also supporting her team with damage. And if all goes to plan, by the late game, Caitlyn should Want be fully itemised and pulling out all of the damage the for her team in team fights, staying well positioned and away from trouble. Would you prefer the good cop? As an AD carry, Caitlyn's known for her long range. Coupled with some escapes and a very useful ultimate ability, she's quite a good starting champion to practice with. As with a lot of carry champions, however, Caitlyn's pretty squishy. If she gets caught in a team fight or caught out by a random wandering jungler, she can be in a lot of trouble. So make sure that you position yourself appropriately. Now we've given you a quick introduction to Caitlyn, we're going to go through her abilities one by one, show you what they do and give you some ideas as to how you can use them effectively when you're playing League of Legends. Caitlyn's passive ability is Headshot. After every few attacks, Caitlyn's basic attack deals 150% damage to a champion or more damage to a minion or monster. If in the bottom lane or elsewhere in the map you're attacking from the brush, the attack counter by Headshot actually increases by 2 instead of 1. Smart use of charging headshot from the brush can get Caitlyn some much needed quick extra farm in lane and also do some nice pokey harassing damage to enemy champions. Typical uses of headshot can be to finish off quite a high health mob or alternatively when in lane to harass and poke an enemy champion in the early game putting some pressure on them whilst ideally staying safe. Caitlyn's first main ability is Pitlover Peacemaker. After a short, channeled casting time, Caitlyn fires a spiky projectile that deals physical damage to all targets that it passes through. Each consecutive target that Pitlover Peacemaker hits takes less damage after the first, down to a minimum of half of the original damage. In a no pressure high mana situation, Peacemaker can be used for farming mobs, however in early game it's best to save your mana. With its long range and good aim, Pitlover Peacemaker can also be used for harassing champions very effectively in the early game. Also don't forget that with its ability to go through brush and go through the fog of war and walls, Pitlover Peacemaker can be used to poke, speculatively shoot and generally cause some trouble for champions trying to hide too. Caitlyn's second ability is Yordle Snap Trap. When activated, Yordle Snap Trap sets a small trap at a target that activates after a short period of time. When an enemy champion comes close, the trap snares and also deals some damage to the champion over a short duration. It also, importantly, reveals the enemy for a short period. As you put more points in this skill, Caitlyn can set up to three traps. Each of these lasts four minutes. Remember that traps are visible to both allies and your enemies, and if you set a trap when three are already placed, the oldest trap will remove itself from the map. On the defence, Yordle traps can be used to push your enemies away from the brush, try to direct them away from the jungle and gank roots, and finally, catch them unawares under turrets if they're not looking where they're going, my personal favourite. When out and about in the middle of your lane, why not throw a snap trap where your wards would normally be? Very occasionally, this can catch an enemy jungle unawares and give you enough time to get to safety. When on the attack and under turrets, Yordle Snap Trap can occasionally be used to try and force your enemy to move a particular way. If caught out under a tower, this can sometimes mean their death, as seen here. Caitlyn's third ability is 90 Calibre Net. When fired, Caitlyn fires a net that throws herself backwards in the opposite direction to which the net was fired. The net travels in a straight line, deals some magic damage, and also importantly, slows the first enemy that's hit. 90 caliber net is a lifesaver. It can be used in so many different ways. However, it does take a bit of practice to get right, so it might be worth taking this one into a game with bots and trying some of the jumps and moves shown here. 
The first use of 90 calibre net that many people use is as an escape. When your flash is down, or even in addition to a flash in a really tight situation, you can use 90 calibre net to simply throw yourself backwards to get away from any trouble you might be in. However, don't always rely on it though. It can only get you so far. Being positioned as an AD carry is way, way more important than relying on your escape spells. Another common use of 90 calibre net is as a move forward or blink. If you're chasing that enemy down who's just too far away, firing 90 calibre net and propelling yourself towards the enemy can often close the distance enough for a kill. And finally, on the more advanced side of things, 90 calibre net can be used to jump over some of the walls and environment pieces on the fields of justice. As we've mentioned, some of these can be a little tricky at first if you've not tried them before, so our top advice is try them in a bot game, not in a ranked game. Caitlyn's ultimate ability is Ace in the Hole. Upon activation, Caitlyn channels for a brief second, with her main target being exposed with vision. She then fires a very fast projectile that homes in on this target, which deals physical damage when it hits. A very important thing to remember with Ace in the Hole is that other enemy champions can intercept this bullet, and the flight path of the bullet is tracked on the map. As a result, be careful with your timings. Sometimes that mega kill that you were going to get may just slip away as an alert Shut enemy down. jumps in the way. We hope this has been helpful for you, and if you'd like to see more or have any comments on how we can improve our videos, please like, dislike, or comment underneath this video. And please just let us know what you liked, what you didn't like, and what we can do better. Thanks for watching Felcraft Casts.